All right, all right. We've got a very quick but a very insightful video on our hands today. Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic just released updates and I have been waiting for this for a long time. And I'm pretty sure you have been too, even if you knew it or not. What this update contains is an intensity slider for your presets. Now this is something you've been able to do on Premiere Pro for quite some time with your video LUTs, which is basically a preset for your videos. And this is when you apply a video LUT or a video preset to your footage, and then you can adjust how intense you want that to be. You can dial it all the way back, or you can boost it all the way up, depending on your footage and depending on what look you're going for. This makes your video editing life a whole lot easier, as not every LUT is going to work flawlessly with every clip, just like not every preset is going to work flawlessly with every photo. This also speeds up your workflow like crazy, so without further ado, let's dive in and I'll show you exactly how this works. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom Classic, and keep in mind that it's pretty much exactly the same thing in Lightroom CC, it's just the slider is in a little bit of a different location. So open up an image and then apply a preset. I'm going to use something from my blues pack here, if you guys want to check out any of my presets, presets, they're linked down below. They're also brand new and updated frequently. Okay, so once the preset is added on Lightroom Classic, the slider will be above the preset tab. You can then move this slider, allowing you to reduce or increase how much of that preset you want to use. Pretty handy, right? Now see, the really cool thing about this intensity slider is as you move it up or down, you can actually see in live time the settings that Lightroom is changing. So let's look at the tone curve. You can see how many dots and how much the tone curve actually moves when I increase or decrease the intensity. This is great because it breaks down the exact process that Lightroom is using, which means you can learn how to edit photos a lot quicker. So now not only do you have so much more flexibility while editing and you've been able to speed up your workflow like crazy, but you're now also able to learn exactly how Lightroom adjusts these presets and how the presets actually work. So that is going to wrap up today's video. This feature has been a long time coming for Lightroom and I'm pumped that it's here. It's going to speed up my workflow like crazy and I hope it speeds up your workflow too. Like I said before, if you want to check out any of my Lightroom presets, you can in the link below. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.